Sarai was the wife of Abram. And she bore him no children. She had an Egyptian slave by the name of Hagar. Sarai said to Abram, since the Lord has prevented me from having children, you can go into my slave and maybe I can have a child through her. And Abram was listening to the voice of Sarah. They had been in the land of Canaan for 10 years. Sarai took her Egyptian slave and gave her to Abram as his wife. And Abram went into Hagar and she conceived and looked with Sarai with contempt. Sarai said to Abram, may the wrong you've done to me be on you. I gave you my slave for you to embrace. And now she has conceived and she's looking at me with contempt. Oh, may God judge you. And Abram said, Sarah, she is your slave. You do to her as you please. And Sarah treated Hagar harshly, and Hagar ran away. The angel of God found her down by a stream of water, a spring that leads up to Sheer. And the angel said to Hagar, Hagar, slave of Sarah, where? are you coming from and where are you going? And Hagar said, I'm running away from my mistress, Sarah. And the angel of God said to her, oh, go on back to Sarah and submit to her, for I'm about to do a great thing with your offspring. For they will be multiplied, so many that they cannot be counted for the multitude. And the angel said, you shall, you have conceived a child, a son, and you shall name him Ishmael. For I have heard your afflictions, or he'll be a wild wild man, a donkey, his hand against everyone and everyone's hand against him. He'll even be at odds with his kinfolks. And Hagar named the God that spoke to her El Roy. For she said, did I Did I see God and yet remain alive? And the water, the well, she named Deir Lahaha Roi, which lies between Kadesh and Bear. Hagar bore Abram a son. And Abram named him Ishmael. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar 
bore him Ishmael.